one singular PR player here today, <laughs> and that yeah. is Cookie Slayer. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Um, I jump so, steady, man. I'm pretty sure he's coming up. Yeah. So if you want to see Cookie Slayer versus the world, this is the hat to be at today. But you know what? We're not going to get quite him on the stream yet. We're going to get these two players first. And they're just going at it right now. We got a Joker and a Wolf. Let's see who the players are as yeah. soon as we switch off those cams. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> James? 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 They started. They started. They started. Yeah, they started. We can't see them. So you you have it on the on the on the split cam thing. Uh, well, well, the show must go on, nonetheless. I will. <laughs> oh, there, oh, there we, we go. There, yeah, there yeah, we yeah. go. Okay, there okay, there yeah, okay. Go. So it's Papa Frank and Kimona. Alrighty. Kimona, Kimona out here from Texas. Visiting our lovely region. Yeah, just wanted to check out all the TGG logos that we have to offer here. But here we go. Let's see how these two are doing so far. Papa Frank got Kimono off stage. Almost had that whiff punish with that forward smash, but just yeah. a little bit misspaced. Wolf's hitboxes are a little bit bigger than they look, so you kind of have to be careful and aware of that. Yeah, you got to give the man some respect. Those hitboxes exist for a reason. Uh, back throw, immediately looking for the edge guard here. Yeah, I like it. Goes for the guns down, stops the wolf fire, and Forrest. Well put out to force Kimono to actually just go for the only option at that point, either Wolf Flash or Wolf Fire yet again. So. Yeah, bullets and take aim, especially when you use that downward vertical motion with Joker is very good, very non-committal, and it forces people to try and reconsider their recoveries, gives you enough time to get a force smash like that, yeah. especially against a character like Wolf, where you don't have a lot of time to really drop down and mix up your recovery. Once you've picked an option, you're kind of just stuck with it. Exactly. It's very similar to all the spaces in the rest of the game. Another back air. I mean, that's kind of one of those things for like, oh, that was gonna be a little bit on crack. I mean, at that point, right? If it worked, it worked. Yeah, take a stock that way. Why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like the fire wolf is actually a really underrated move because it stops your aerial momentum. So if people are trying to juggle you, mm -hmm. then you can stop your momentum and just be able to get a whiff punish off of that in the air without having to use a resource like your air dodge or something like that. So. Pretty smart from Kimona, able to take out that stock. Bring it back to even, actually. Of course, the damage oh. <laughs> exponentially can grow against a character like Wolf. So. Okay, looking for the landing here. Kimona really hot on it. I mean, they're both pretty much even percent decimals. Now, one move into three digits. At this point, I feel I was going to say, I, I would have put it past Kimona to go for another Wolf Fire and see if I can actually get Papa Frank off guard on that one. Mm -hmm. Really good get off me option with the forward tilt. Yep. Mm, okay, goes for the shield grab. I was actually expecting like an up smash out of shield at that point. That will probably kill like relatively like character like Joker oh. very soon. Second Gonna have to that. use there, that. Yep. Yeah. I like at that point as Joker means they love to go. They like to go to the bottom of the stage, right? Get the tether and then come back on the stage. So come on, I'm gonna snipe that one out. Really good. I mean, if you know what Joker's recovery is all about, then you can go ahead and get the right punish this time. Mm -hmm. And Kimono trying to push some offense here. Doesn't quite get the right guess. Now we got the reversal oh. coming in from Papa Frank. But that's kind of the difficult thing about Joker is, is that you kind of have to play extremely patient with him. You have to know when to pick your battles. If you extend yourself too far, then all of a sudden you're losing the battle, especially when you're already behind. You got to play even more safe. You got to play even more careful. Keep up your tempo and make sure that it's like, okay, I'm a fast character. I can juggle and I got our sin. I can bring this back, but I can't bring the deficit so far where it would make things extremely difficult for me. But yeah. he's done exactly that. Already at 90%, Arsene is about to be gone too. And he's not taking the stock yet. For a lot of jokers, they usually look for, like, he's very good on punishes, but punishes. So when he's up ahead against his opponent and just using back airs to force your opponent to let go of shield, maybe go for a different option, try to go for a punish, he's really good at getting you that one. But when your opponent has a whole stock against you for Kimona, all Kimona has to do is kind of hang on tight and then wait for Joker to make a lot more of the commitments here. Because that's what we're seeing from Papa Frank. He's looking for any opportunity to just get that stock away from Kimona. Mm -hmm. Down throw, I uh, like it. Even try to go for the tether, but that wasn't going to come through either way. I didn't want to risk potentially missing the punish, so he just goes for a guaranteed grab that time around. He is yeah. moving to up throw for Sans, but up throw will actually kill for Joker. It's very, very high percent. Yeah, but uh, he's got to find his mark very soon because 103%, that's just one good hit yep. from a wolf. But the down throw, that would be able to do it. Yeah. All right, All right using the gun slide, I like it. Even using the platforms, and uh, check that movement. Very reminiscent of wave dashing a little bit. Oh, that was scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried to stuff out his jump. He did, but the uh, up B still came out. He was able to keep up his uh, composure and then keep himself in the in the game here. Yeah. And Frank even had a Kimono even had a good cross up there, setting up the force match, but he missed the opportunity. 
back throw, get him off the stage. I like it, Papa Frank, each and every time he knows that even if the chips are down, I can still go for a combo, throw him off the stage, right, and then set up myself for an edge guard. Yeah, and you just can see all of a sudden Papa Frank is playing a completely different game, knows that one good straight hit from Wolf might be able to do it, so he's just playing oh. right outside that distance, you know, playing in the air, knowing that he's staying right outside of that back air area. I like it, Kimona checks himself, right, I for back throw, not gonna kill. Wanna wait till it's fresh, but you only had one option to go when you were off stage. Papa Frank bringing it all the way back. I can't believe he actually brought that all the way back. I was already talking about how he's really trying to figure out how to get that second stock away, and then he brought himself in a terrible deficit, but then he only took like 20 to 30% on that last stock. Yeah. And you must have heard me saying because he was keeping his composure, just remembering what I'm best at, I'm best at with punishing, yep. and then he kept that going. Was able to bring that back in an amazing comeback. But he's going to switch off to the Roy. Maybe wants to keep up a little bit more of a consistent matchup potentially. You know, Joker is one of those precision type of characters. So if you're not on your mark every time, it can be kind of difficult to play him. Yep. All right. Come on. You nearly switch out to the Incineroar. My, my god, this color is not my favorite. Anyways, that's not important here. What is important is Frank going to go with Roy. Having the sword the way that you have it here versus how Joker has his own dagger. It makes sense for him to go this this character, right? He doesn't want to let Incineroar into the hyper since it is a heavyweight character. You give him rage, you give him not only you give him revenge. The, the faster you get him off the screen, the better. Mm -hmm. well, we'll have to see how this goes down. Because uh, Roy can sometimes be a little bit linear, especially with how he throws out aerials and how he throws out hit certain hitboxes. So revenge could be a really great tool for him to be able to try and bring back percent. Oh, doesn't look like that's quite happening, though. Usually a lot of Incineroar's moves have a tendency to with arms and legs. So they're really good at punishing characters who might be trying to approach you while you're going for an attack. Yep, uh, oh. Lariat is one of those moves that has head and arm intangibility, but it's terrible on whiff. Yeah. And Papa Frank was able to punish that accordingly very nicely. Back throw? No, goes for forward throw? Of course, back throw won't kill, but at least set the edge guard. I would have preferred back throw, but hey, that throw chop with the forward tilt, because I didn't take the stock. And yeah, I mean, I think the goal was still just to put him off stage, and it looks like he was doing just that, trying to go for the Ken combo oh, there, and actually no. it results in an SD. Yo, man, he doesn't feel like Ken at that point. I'm a little more like Cephalon. Someone at Kimono might be a little bit more accustomed to fighting or knowing about. All right, down throw. A couple up airs. That's one of Incineroar's combos from down throw. You either go down throw forward air from the corner carry. You get enough power, enough precision in that one. Or you go down throw up air to do damage mm -hmm. the juggles. Yeah, and we see Papa Frank. He's using that double edge dance one movement. Just trying to position himself on the platform. Looks like he's very comfortable with his character. Probably was his main before Joker. Uh, if I had to take a guess myself. Yeah. But he's still playing a little bit behind. Jab to back, it will be able to do it. Not too much percent on him either. And this is easy for Roy to make a comeback here. He's waiting for it. Nice. Even even sets himself with the space in there to get the wheel back there on Roy. Like situation here. Good Nair. Nair doesn't have intangibility, but what does has a lot of active frames. Yeah. So you have to be careful each time you get hit by Nair when you see Nair. Mm -hmm. It's basically like another sex kick, like with the uh, Wolf Nair, for example. Yeah. It does the same function, except that the hitbox is all over the place with that character. And it does actually move Incineroar's hair her box just very so far away. Back air, that'll do it. One of Incineroar's strongest moves there. The back, back air, forward air, up air, like down air. They're all, all of Incineroar's aerials are really good. Yeah. And we didn't even see a single Alolan whip take a stock, and I'm terribly disappointed. But you know what? If the opportunity is not there, then it's not there. Incineroar yeah. still has plenty of other moves to be able to take down the stocks. It's not like that's his only trump card in the entire uh, in the entire character's kit. So yeah. he was able to make it work. Still, we're going back to the same matchup, though. I don't I, remember it was the same stage, but we'll I see. do feel like how they treated Ganondorf. They made him more of like very similar to M Bison now. Like he has like M Bison has like game style. But I feel like Incineroar a little bit like. Zangief now in this game, he is a bit of a grappler, so he has combos off his grabs, but he has his own like flair to him. Mm -hmm. Already doing an amazing job, 57%, but okay, great. Uh, directional air dodge just gets right out of that combo, but double edge dance, yes. Yeah, put him off the stage here. This is the edge guard. There's the whiff punish on the force. Pretty beefy there, and you are going to be sent off stage. Mm -hmm. I like to see Papa Frank do more of what he was doing earlier with the lead straps. The Cinderella's a character, the run speed and the aerial speed, not the greatest on this character. In fact, he has like the slowest run speed out of all the characters in this game. Yeah. So if you just stay outside in a particular uh, space, then it makes it so easy to like, catch jump, catch whiffs, and catch get up attack, and then you'll be able to punish that really easily because the Cinderella's a character that can't really get away. The Alolan whip is going to come in. It's not quite going to be able to kill, but still takes on the damage. Not. 
neither of these two really going for the edge guards either. They're playing a little bit safe, staying on the edge, knowing that either of them can accidentally SD if they go for something wrong off stage. All right, goes low. Each and every time Kimono's been going for the recovery, of course, you can use your side to be up the as you can see from the screen. So you can go for side B, then up B, and then recover. So it's really good that you can stall yourself a little bit lower and then still have that little, little bit of extra access to move around. All right, stuck at the, I was going to say, at that point, if you're stuck at the corner and your opponent's going to go for a double edge dance, that, that cross-up back was really good for Kimura. Yeah, that was just risk-reward there. He, he thought that double edge, it would kill probably at that scenario, but he got a little bit too greedy for it, didn't wait for the opportunity, just tried to force himself into that situation. It didn't quite work out there. Oh, watch the landing there. Only the neutral could have, I mean, it's kind of risky going for that, especially if you're not going to just hold shield. Mm -hmm. Down right. throw for it, up air, okay, nice. Look mm -hmm. for the juggles and step, and immediately pop a Frank the top air. Yeah. You see Papa Frank, he has those opportunities to try to go for a neutral air one. He knows that he can get certain setups in certain different aspects, but doesn't quite finish it all the way through. He either tries to get the jab afterwards rather than finishing off with the four tilt or, you know, following up with the back air afterwards. Not quite following completely. I don't know if he's just not confident with how the confirms are going to land or not, and then he doesn't react to it accordingly or what. But regardless, still an even game between these two. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If you do a dash back pivot and then be able to throw out a force smash like that, a character like Incineroar is really hard for him to get away. He doesn't have the greatest acceleration. So once he's committed to a direction, he kind of just has to hold it there. Yeah. He's only got one option left afterwards, and he just, he's just holding it, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hold back throw, that's not going to kill. Oh, that will. Terrible. Yeah, usually yeah. that doesn't kill a little bit later. Incineroar's back throw is actually has this, one of the strongest uh, base knockbacks in the game. Yeah. So I can see why that probably would have killed at that percent. Yeah. And not only that, you have up throw as well. We're just going to mix up your opponent's DI. If mm -hmm. you're going to go for back, just go for up throw. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Okay, directional air dodge back. That could have been scary if Kimono decided to commit to a neutral air that time around like he was trying to with the other edge guards. Yeah. Papa's got to figure out some way to make this happen. It's for sense climbing and it gets the character like it's in a roar. Yeah. It's just slowly fading away. We feel landing there. I like it. Sets up the border and even retreats back slowly, but unfortunately that kind of gave too much Papa the stage to come back to him and set up for his own back cross up. Mm -hmm. Wait for the landing here. Good option. I like it. Staying a little bit patient for Kimona. At this point, you don't want to let what happened in the last game go down. Mm -hmm. I feel like Papa, just for some reason, however it is, is that he he tries to run in and uh, really make something happen in the first two stocks. And then all of a sudden, when he's in the last stock, he's like, oh, shoot. I have to remember to be a little bit more oh, patient. But shoot. it's too little, too late. The Incineroar will do it with the Alolan Lip. That's going to go ahead and seal out that set for Kimona. You gotta watch out. Usually with Incineroar, you can be pressured enough or even just put in a situation where you're forced to hold shield or you feel like you're trying to go for a whiff punish and then Incineroar gets you with the grab, the command grab, the long whip, you're out of there. You can even do the regular version where you just set them with upwards 